In the Hoop Designer truly lets you be the designer of over 300 In the Hoop projects. In the Wizard, you'll find templates to use as starting points for your own creations. The templates are split into 22 categories. Banners are available with satin edge finishes and turned edge. Card holders, coasters with satin and turned edges, design your own parts, are zipper files which you can add to any project. Next up are small quilt hangings in several sizes. The home category has options for pillows, door hangers, snap trays, and the like. Oh, there's so much more. And maybe everyone's favorite are the zipper bags, separated by zipper size number three and number five. Let's jump into the quilt stand cover category. This charming snowman is sure to melt your heart. Did you know every template in the In the Hoop Designer comes with instructions? Written by Reen Wilcoxon of the Embroidery Garden. They are fully illustrated with step-by-step -step color photos and they are printable so you can follow along at your machine. Let's customize one. Select the wizard and open and select calendar and OK. Now let's change February to countdown because I'm going to focus on the holidays. And then click on the library icon and go into the holiday Christmas section. I'm going to select the tree on top of the car and click OK. And now we'll change that other charm design, that other heart to something else. Back into the library. This time, let's select the house like we're going to grandmother's house. And there's one more design in the center there underneath countdown that we're going to change to something that's a little bit more holiday flair. So I'm searching through the category and there is a horizontal spray that will fit just perfectly there. Now I'm ready to go into the workspace to make some other changes. I don't really like this font. So I'm going to first off change the color to red and then I'm going to select a different font. This time it's office. And instead of it being upper and lowercase, I'm going to retype that in in uppercase and click apply. Let's make countdown fit in the space. Just drag the corner into the text to make it smaller. Next, let's make it a little bit more interesting so that the curve of the quilt block is mimicked in the text. I think the car should be heading towards the house, so I'm going to select that and mirror image it. And now, I'm going to add some more text. So I'll select the text tool and in the properties box, I'm going to type days until and then click apply. With that text selected, I'll use my rotation tool to just rotate that design so that it's now in a vertical position and move it into that left space. Next up is Christmas. So I'll type that in the properties box and click apply. And again, use the select tool and the rotation tools to turn it so that it's also in a vertical fashion. And now I can view it in the center of the workspace and I think I have a great new decoration for my home. <music> 